Add WTD times for non-driving periods. Editing day. Edit WTD times. With the edit day screen, you can add new times, amend existing times, only times entered by WTD methods can be altered here, assign an agency to a duty period, assign a site to a duty period. To edit working times, click on the click to edit against any event from the WTD working times day view or on the calendar, choose edit day from the right click menu. Events added from digital or analog tachograph cannot be edited, but you can add start and finish times to the day should manual entries not have been added correctly by a driver. The timeline at the top of the screen represents the workers' events. One whole day is shown in the centre, and either side shows 12 hours back and forwards. You can move between days using the arrows on both ends. Each section of colour on the timeline is a duty period. To view a period, click once and the events are loaded into the Period Details section. On the Editing Day screen, click on the work period you wish to edit. When you mouse over a work period, it is highlighted with yellow. After selecting a duty period in the timeline, the Period Details section will display all the events in that period, as well as, if an agency worker, the agency the driver was with and the site responsible for the duty period. Any tachograph times in this section will not be editable. To amend analog tachograph times, you must re-analyze the chart in the Tachomaster software. Digital times from a driver's card cannot be amended. If times in this section have been created by WTD methods, you can make changes here. Once any changes are made, whether times, agency or site, click Save to commit the changes. After clicking Save, the changes are made immediately. The display will show that the changes are being processed. This may take from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the changes made. It is important to note that you do not have to wait for the process to complete if this is the only change you are making. Simply move away from the page and the processing will continue in the background. The New Events section will allow you to add new events to a worker's diary. Initially, you are shown an Add New Events button and a drop-down list showing a number of duty templates. Clicking the Add New Events button will allow you to create one or more events. Using the templates will automatically populate the New Events list, allowing you to just fill in the times. On the New Events list, there are two buttons on each row, Plus and Minus. Using these buttons, you can insert new events into the existing list or remove events you don't want. When you are happy with the events listed, click Save. If there are any problems, they will be displayed. And if everything is okay, the event will be processed. The processing may take a few moments.